Rosen Jazz und die Reacts und das ist Russian Mil Me 35M Attack Helicopter. I don't think I've heard of this. I don't think I've heard of the Russian Attack Helicopter. Yeah, I've seen a lot of like American equipments or American things. <clears throat> Very little Soviet slash Russian, uh, you know, equipment and things. <clears throat> I'm guessing like that, uh, you know, attack helicopter is like one of the things where Russians like specialize or something. Or I don't know, may maybe I might be wrong. But yeah, this is a channel military weapons. There's an, an entire channel about this military weapons. So yeah, let's watch this one. Yeah, I've been watching this military type of uh, videos uh, recently. Like I mean, this rabbit hole about different like helicopters, tanks, equipments, guns geopolitics certain incidents like you know the channels like fire attrition and others so if you haven't seen those reactions check out the link in the description there you'll find it or best way to do is like enter the video end card like it's youtube will recommend you or something uh you know follow me on twitter if you you know don't get notification when i post video or something sometimes youtube does that so i always like post links on like you know twitter uh follow me on instagram that's like more only personal social media where i like post things that is besides my channel i guess and yeah let's always on Military weapons. Thanks for joining me today where I'm talking about the MI-35M helicopter. The MI-35M is a multi-role combat helicopter manufactured by Rostvertel, a subsidiary of Russian helicopters. It's an export variant of the MI-24 Hind attack helicopter, primarily designed for attack and military transport missions. The helicopter delivers a more superior flight performance and maneuverability than its predecessor. The production of the MI-35M began in 2005, and the aircraft incorporates modern high-precision weaponry for destroying ground-based armored targets, providing air support for ground missions. It can be modified as an attack, ground assault, medical evacuation, or even a transport platform. The MI-35M is one of the modern combat helicopters that belong. See, I always watch like Russian, you know, meme style videos, but you know, the uh, meanwhile in Russia type of videos, which basically like these helicopters basically pull a fucking plane. I don't know why they do that. Like, maybe there's just no accessibility to transport, so they just literally like pull the, you know, entire jet planes and like, uh, you know, consumer planes, whatever they're called, Airbuses. Literally, like, pull them one place to another by helicopters. I'm guessing this is the type of helicopter. Multi purpose, though. It's like, th is this like Apache? Apache helicopter, right? We uh, could do many things. Apache is the old one, right? This is, I'm guessing, what newer helicopter US is making like Apache? Because I'm pretty sure Apache is like really old, multiple decades old. And this is the newer one. Belongs to the Russian Air Force Infantry. And it's also operated by the armed forces of a handful of other countries that include Brazil, Iraq, Kazakhstan, Mali, Mexico, Nigeria, Russia, and Venezuela. This helicopter is distinguished by its improved construction based on the M24 Hind. The MI-35M incorporates several improvements, including shortened stub wings, a new rotor system, modern avionics, upgraded turboshaft engines, and a hydraulic system. The cockpit and vital components of the helicopter are significantly armored. The glass cockpit of the MI-35M accommodates two pilots in tandem in a configuration that works for them. The cockpit is also night vision compatible, and it integrates multifunctional displays with redundant flight controls and state-of-the-art avionics. The MI-35M has an overall length of 21.6 meters, featuring a weight and ferry configuration of 12,000 kilograms kilograms and can carry eight troops with a payload of 2400 mm. kilograms the mi-35m is powered by two tv3 117 all right uh are there any helicopters like this used in ukraine war because i'm guessing like there must be like you know specialized condition where you can use helicopter otherwise helicopters would be shot down won't they like infantry vehicle and things like that is like more better to transport troops than attack helicopters because if helicopter you somebody sees like a javelin can javelin take this out yeah no wait a minute javelin is supposed to like go high and attack below so is can javelin take out like helicopter or something like that right like some kind of weapon i don't know so are there any you know attack helicopter like this being used in ukraine right now VMA or VK2500 engines. Each engine develops a maximum power output of over 2,200 horsepower, and the engines are designed to support high altitude missions. 
This helicopter is also fast, flying at a maximum speed of 310 kilometers per hour mm. with an operational altitude at 5,400 meters. The helicopter's normal range is 460 kilometers, reaching a maximum distance of 1,000 kilometers with a full fuel load. The helicopter is equipped with an OPS 24N surveillance and sighting station, a television channel, Why is a GPS shoot? guided <laughs> navigation system, and... I don't know it was like, okay, sure, like, type of uh, situation this, but helicopter's landed, he just opened the shutter and starts to shoot, like, okay, why? I mean, in the mid-flight, he shoots from there, it's like, understand, like, get out and shoot or something, I don't know comes with an optional door is already open you're not under cover or something it can also be deployed in combat missions with various geographies and high temperatures and high altitude environments also featuring around the clock combat capability for conducting missions during the day as well as the night it's also capable of operating from unprepared and poorly equipped airfields. The MI-35M offers round-the-clock combat use of guided and unguided weapons in regular and challenging climate conditions. And it's operational for attack flights at altitudes of anywhere from 10 to 25 meters during the daytime and 50 meters at night over land or water. Hmm. This is the MI-35 base series designation. It has a base series model that features an all-weather day or night attack model, upgraded sensors and avionics, night vision support, improved targeting systems, GPS navigation, glass cockpits, and protected communication suite. The MI-35M1 has an alternative designation of the MI-35M. The MI-35M2 is with the Venezuelan Army variant and upgraded. The MI-35M3 is the export version. The MI-35M4 is in the Brazilian Air Force and the Israeli Avionics Kit upgrade. God, what different designation for different countries? Like, I mean, if it's the same helicopter, give it the same name. Like, did they modify it to fit their purpose better or something? The MI-35 O variant is within the Mexican Army, based on the MI-24 VN, with a Mexican FLIR camera system and upgraded avionics kit. And the MI-35 U is the trainer variant without the armament. Of its specifications, it can hold a crew. All right, Mexico takes weapons from Russia. Hmm, that's surprising. Why? Why are they not taking from US? Maybe US don't want to sell them because they're so close. Someone takes over Mexico, and now. US's own equipment is used against them or something. Is that what's happening? I don't know. That, that would make sense. ...of two to three people with eight passengers and features two turboshaft engines for propulsion. The engine model is based on the Klimov TW3-117VM or the TV3-117VM. Its engine power reaches 1,638... Okay, I didn't even thought of this before. Why does it have, like, wheels? This is a helicopter, it takes off, like it doesn't need a runway, right? So why does it need a wheel? Well, shouldn't it have something like a flat type of thing that just lands or something? I guess, is this made like if somebody wants to make an emergency, you know, like landing, it can land like a fucking plane or something, it doesn't have to stop? Kilowatts and features a speed of 335 kilometers per hour with a service ceiling of over 4,500 meters and a range of 500 kilometers. Mm. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave a comment and a like on this video and be subscribed for more videos like this one in the Okay, is this the best helicopter in the world or something? Better than Apache and things? I don't know because I don't think I've heard of any new helicopter US making. There might be, but I've never heard of it. I guess Russia is making it, there you go, right? Uh, certain things like some countries in the world might consider like obsolete, like US might think like helicopters like not that important anymore. So they might just keep the old ones like Apache and things, right? And what is the other one, like big one with the two fan? Uh, I forgot the name, like big ass cargo type of helicopter. They might just keep old one, are they making new? Russia might make new one because they think helicopters like still relevant, I don't know. But yeah, All right, well, uh, that was Russian Mil Mi 35M attack helicopter by some military weapons. If you like my reaction, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you haven't seen my other reaction I did like this, like from real engineering, things like that, check out the link in the decision or end card right now. And yeah, I'll see you next time.